All right, guys, so I did find a little movie section in 99 Cent Store right here, and uh, it's just kind of all scattered all around. I mean, you guys can see it in the pail right there, but it's crazy that they actually have movies here, so make sure you guys are hitting up your local 99 Cent Store. Now, I believe the actual DVDs themselves are 99 cents, and the Blu-rays that I found were $2, so I mean, they have some pretty cool ones. They're kind of just all random. You have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three, which was not a favorite of mine. Uh, you usually have like some Christian movies or family movies movies and stuff like that uh, and you always get a couple that are maybe like a 10 movie pack or you get this one I believe uh, Wanted Dead or Alive that one has 13 features on it her so you get a couple of more recent titles as well as a bunch of just kind of randomness going on yeah, you got Soul Food right there. That's a classic with Vivica Fox. You got a couple of CDs in there as well. So yeah, just uh, Home for the Holidays. That's one that I think is on like Amazon Prime or something. I'm gonna kind of move all these to the side, but yeah, you get kind of a uh, just a just a bunch of random titles, guys. But once again, you got to go to your to your own 99 cent store and see what they got. And uh, make sure you guys are checking every single aisle because they are hidden. Now this one right here has eight movies. That one's a Pink Panther favorite. That one's this one's actually pretty cool. This one's a uh, I believe it's like a football 30 for 30 movie that had a Blu-ray and a DVD. You get more DC titles as well, animated films. So it's just a bunch of randomness, like I keep saying. You get a little kids uh, movie right there. You get something I don't know what that is, Lifetime movie or something, and uh, I think it's a Spanish cartoon and then the gift which i actually just picked up on blu-ray last haul uh, that one has 10 action films now i decided to walk across the street to this like discounted place and oh my god i found all these knockoff airpods apple airpods look at this i can't believe this this is it's five dollars for this i wonder what the quality is i kind of wanted to buy them just to see if they would even work i mean i have an android but geez this is kind of cool i found uh, one of these ring lights and she sold it to me for ten dollars i actually went into like this a uh, little discount store where they just have overstock of different things so yeah i can't wait to actually just try this out right now for this video and i just looked up that ring light right now on amazon and it's going for about 40 dollars the one that i got the usb one so i got about 30 bucks off i mean you can't pass up on a deal right especially since i needed one the one that i was using was like a little cheapy it was actually 30 dollars, so it was more than what that ring light cost and I see a lot of people using it and I like the effect that it gives and um, it's more of a soft white light and the one that I'm using is kind of like bright LEDs and it's not that great for my skin and it always hits one side and it's never really balanced so we'll give it a try in a second so you'll see how it looks all right so we got the lamp from Christmas story you guys remember that one that's a pretty good price too a little boutique shop while we wait for our food Totally forget it, but this is a character from Frozen. Please, what? I had Bob thrown or something. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh man, you guys have seen a Furby? That's old school for my generation. Oh, isn't this the uh, Pinocchio from the horror? Horror Pinocchio movie? Not sure, 100%. Or Raggedy Annie? <laughs> they got a lot of Furbies, babe. Yeah. I remember people used to say, oh, look at that Paddington. Oh, well, they have a lot of different Paddington. This is cool. Oh, wow, look at that elf. The elf phone. No way. Oh, that's been used and abused. <laughs> Grew up on that show. You can have old board games right there. That's probably the newest one they got right there. Monopoly City. Some old Uno games. Look at this. Ringa Majigs. Ringa Majigs. Look at these kids look so happy playing. <laughs> look at the kid's face. Got some DR No Deal. So you had to write on to write your screenplay back in the day. This is cool. Seeing all these old board games. Oh, look at that old Domino's. Password. That looks like an old operation. I don't know if that's functional anymore. And got a picture of, vintage picture of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Ricky. 14. That's cool. And before iPhones and Samsung Galaxies, we had these. You had to capture the moment with this. Those are cool. 
jeez. Artifacts, relics, and time. Look at that. Very cool. And then you got an old tape recorder too. These are the ones you always see like in the older movies. We just got some lunch right now from Basil and Mint. Love a little local takeout. And we got some cauliflower bites. Spicy ones I think they are. As well as some uh, those, like tofu spring rolls. Can't, I don't know which one is which, but you got tofu, tofu. Rolls. okay. So you got the tofu spring rolls and you got the vegan ham spring rolls. We are vegan if you guys didn't know. So we're gonna eat this up before we head out again. So bomb. Mm. All right guys, so I am back home and as promised, I wanted to show you how that ring light looks. So this is just my, you know, separate desk lamps and I only have a couple, I have one right in the back, but they're more of an orangey glow. So here's what the new ring lamp looks like, a ring light looks like. Oh, right, what a difference, night and day. So yeah, that's on full adjustment. Uh, it has a couple of different settings, guys. Right there, a little blue hue, and then you have the orange contrast, which is really good for my skin, you know, because I'm, I'm, you know, a lighter, you know, I'm brown. So, you know, but I think I like that white right there. That is excellent. I actually really, really enjoy that one right there. And uh, it's not too overpowering where I get to see the rings in my eyes and stuff like that. I have it about maybe a foot higher than my actual setup on the tripod for my uh, cell phone camera. I'm just using this all off my cell phone, by the way. But real quick, I wanted to let you guys know, so uh, the footage that I was recording in the local, not Big Lots, what was it? 99 cent store, sorry, 99 cent store. So make sure you guys are checking your 99 cent store because they do have sometimes a lot more DVDs, but I've been noticing they've been putting out Blu-rays just like Dollar Tree. So definitely hit those up if you guys are on the hunt, especially if you're just out getting groceries or whatever. 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, Big Lots even has really discounted physical media. And uh, I went through there, I couldn't really talk too much, so I just did like a voiceover, you know, uh, uh, overlay or whatever. But I did actually find one that you guys may recognize from another haul, and I did pick it up on DVD back then, but I found it on Blu-ray. And it actually was not for $1, even though it's 99 cent store, uh, it was actually $2. So this one right here is a Spike Lee joint, uh, it's Red Hook Summer. Now this one right here, like I said, I did pick up, but I have not watched it yet since I picked it up on DVD. Never seen this movie whatsoever. So pretty much uh, what this is, is it's about a, uh, a young character. His name is Flix Royal. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a young kid that's on kind of like on the wrong path or whatever. And he goes to stay with his uncle for a, for a summer who's extremely religious. I believe he might be like a priest or some kind of minister. And he just, you know, tries to convert him, you know, uh, as a follower of Jesus Christ and just get him, you know, into religion and just kind of like the right path, you know, because uh, I guess he's kind of headed down the wrong path. Now, it says that this is, uh, if you guys don't know, I mean, Spike Lee right there, it's a Spike Lee joint. And it says this is in the... Uh, the series, the Bro Chronicles of Brooklyn series. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. So it's a series that includes She's Gotta Have It, Do the Right Thing, which is one of my favorites, Crooklyn, which is also an awesome one, Clockers, which is an, a fantastic one, and He's Got Game. So He Got Game is the one, I believe, with Denzel Washington that came a little la la uh, later down the line. And this one right here uh, was... 2012 and the way that this looks a little bit on the back guys sorry there's a bunch of glare but the way that this looks right here from the frames um and there's spike lee by the way i always make it his cameo appearance uh it looks like it might be like a like a lower budget uh independent film let me know if you guys have seen this one right here i'm not doing like a full in-depth just because it's one pickup that i did but it was something that was cool and that i came across at your local you know 99 cent store so once again make sure you guys stop by they had a little movie section as you guys can see it was literally a cart that just said movies on it and there was like a little pail 
like a pail that you take to the beach that was full of DVDs. And they had a lot of just, um, you know, random like animated films and stuff like that. So if you have kids, you know, you want to go pick up some for the collection, definitely add that. But that's going to be it, guys. It was just a, a simple, quick vlog. Just my Saturday or whatever. I'm just going out, having some food. I was just seeing what I could pick up. You know, we went to a boutique shop that had a lot of cool different things like old cameras and old, you know, board games and whatnot. Just a typical random vlog. So if you guys do appreciate videos like this, please get that thumbs up and make sure you guys hit that subscribe and bell notification to always stay up to date and notified immediately as soon as I drop these videos. All right, guys, till next one, I'm gone. Peace.